Okay, good morning, everybody. It is October the 20th of 2021. Um, today, I'm going to read Psalm 32. This is a Psalm of David. A shield, did we get that up? M A S C H I L. I don't know if we did or not. I'm going to look it up real quick before we start. I Because, you know, we always have to... Uh, we always have to see what these words mean. I think it it was about a song. The notes song in, enforcing some lesson of wisdom or piety. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> and I'm sure I uh, I'm sure I've looked that up before. So. All right, anyways. Um Psalm 32. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee. And mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in... Pardon me. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous. Shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Amen. Sorry, I had to take a second there. Am I, uh... God, my stomach hasn't been right for like three days now, and I don't know what is going on. I, I swear it was something I ate. It's just, it's not been good. Um, It's gurgling right now as I speak. Oh, anyways, um, it is a psalm of, what did it say it was? Education and wisdom. Piety. I just had it here just a second ago. Yeah. Enforcing some lesson of wisdom. Blessed is a man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Which is one of the many things that uh, I have said as we've been reading these, we tend to see a lot of are those that keep deceit and wickedness in their heart, but do it secretly. Those that are constantly trying to come against you in private, you know, without you knowing. So many... So many different different ways that it said it, and of course, being as a psalm of David, there you know, David had so many people that were trying to get him behind his back, but it still it still applies to us. There we have we have unfortunately let evil creep in secretly all around us. Uh, 
some people knew. A lot of people didn't. A lot of people did not understand that we were supposed to keep vigilant on this. We were supposed to keep our due diligence. We were supposed to test the spirits and everything. But of course, a lot of people got distracted by a lot of different things. They they did they did one heck of a job distracting the heck out of everybody. To the point that a lot of people just didn't care. A lot of people just didn't look. A lot of people didn't notice. And now we're in the situation that we're in, of course. I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> so I got on uh, I got on Reddit today because Reddit is one of those few places that I can find some truth, not a lot. You know, I I used to be on Reddit for more uh, entertainment purposes than anything else. Um, but I am on a uh, couple of different. I can't even call them truth channels now. It's it's uh the one the one that I keep that gives me about the same amount of information as Twitter does is uh the conspiracy Reddit. It's just our conspiracy. And uh I got on there today and found out that I got banned. I got banned from our conspiracy. Um I got banned because I somebody had posted about the one guy I cannot remember his name thinks that he's a woman probably I'm probably going to get banned from YouTube for this who knows <sighs> thinks he's a woman uh, got hired up into some kind of something I don't know just recently got turned into like some four star I don't know what the hell it is uh, supposedly like one of those health guys I don't know I, I keep seeing his face around and I don't really care who he is because it doesn't really bother me I just know that it was a dude that thinks he's a chick but it's like no you're you're clearly a guy and you know and people can have their delusions all they want I guess um but I got, I got banned for simply saying him. You can call him him. You can say him. <laughs> and uh, of course, the you know the moderator, whenever he gave it to me, he said, "Terms of service. What are you trying to do? Get the whole Reddit banned?" Now I'm not trying to get the whole Reddit banned off thing, but you know what, man? I mean, if we don't stand for the truth. Who will? If we don't stand for the truth in all things, if we don't have the guts to be able to look at something and say, that's not right, that's... If we don't have, if we don't have the guts to be able to call a spade a spade, then there will be no truth. That's just what got us into this whole mess in the first place, is that... Nobody is willing to stand up and say, that's not right. So I, I stood up. I stood up and I said, that's not right. That's not the way this works. And I got banned. Surprised I haven't been banned from other places as well because of that kind of stuff. And you know, I mean, you can... You can say, I'm not supposed to judge, and I'm not supposed to do this, and I'm not supposed to do that. And you know what? I didn't judge. I simply told the truth. And of course, you know, that, that is enough to get you, uh, get you kicked out of supposedly truth-telling <laughs> uh, social media places. I even said that too. I said this, this it may be a conspiracy reddit, but it is not a truth reddit. It's just 
We cannot keep bowing down to lies. We just cannot keep bowing down to lies. You you can't. You have to be able to push back. Eventually, I mean it. It's. Are you gonna live like this for the rest of your life? Or are you... Actually, a better way to put it would be when it comes time to be persecuted for what you believe in, are you going to simply bow down and, and bow down and do what they want? Or are you going to Stop and say, no, that's not right. That's not the way this works. Uh, we were actually talking about that last night, uh, my wife and I. Um, talking about... What was the conversation? I mean, it was it was on the same vein, but I can't remember the exact conversation we were having. What was that about? I, I had it in my head. Like, I swear, I just had it in my head a second ago, and it just it completely disappeared on me. Man, what was that? It was about telling the truth. It was about telling the truth. It was about... Uh, um, being persecuted for, for not... for not just speaking up about something. I don't remember exactly what it was. It was right there, too. It was right there in my head, and it just completely disappeared. And I guess that means that I wasn't supposed to talk about it. It's it's usually how that works. It's, I guess it just means I wasn't supposed to talk about it. Um, that's where I've been being led for the past, uh, past couple weeks, though, is that we have to stop giving in to just the lies. I mean, there's there's a point there's a point where you know treat your fellow man as if you would want to be treated. There's a point where that becomes I would want to know the truth, so I should probably let other people know the truth. You know. That there's a point where where that takes over, where that has to take over. We can't just keep lying to kid, to people. Can't just keep lying to everybody. I almost said keep lying to kids, because <laughs> good old Christmas is right around the corner. <laughs> we got we got Halloween in 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 a couple weeks, and all I can think of is how much we just lie. The kids, these poor kids. Not only, not only that. I mean, if if we don't even talk about like, you know, pagan holidays, just the, just the whole thing about the masks, just the the irreparable damage we are doing to the kids in the schools. Ah. Uh, I did. I know I mentioned it in a video somewhere else along the line. One of the very first things that happened when this whole nonsense started a year and a half ago, almost two years now, um, was that we were in a Target. It was right before they, you know, really started breaking down on everybody about the masks. But there was a family. It was a family of four. It was, uh, you know, mom, dad, two kids, and they they were all masked up. And the mother saw that her son, he had to have been seven, maybe eight, saw that he had let his mask slip down to his chin. And she said, and this was 
This was back in what? February, March, March before they really, you know, started doing the the mandates. She said to her her son, "All right, keep your Halloween mask on, so that we can keep going through the store, or something to that effect." I'd have to look it up to see exactly what what was said. But it just one of those things that has really bothered me this whole this whole experience is that just the ridiculous lies and manipulation that parents are putting on their children just to be able to sell themselves out to this lie. It's just absurd. Just, that was sickening. I, I, but what do you say to that? You know, where, where do you, where do you go with something like that? It, At the time, I, I didn't really say anything, and I couldn't really say anything, because, you know, we were still kind of feeling this whole deal out. And I just, it it bothered me enough to the point that I was just like, okay, I just want to leave now. I just want to go home, cry for a little bit, because that just, that just happened, and I don't feel good about it. But that's, that's been like the whole problem the whole problem of this thing is that we are well not we the people of this world are willing to tell themselves every lie they are willing to tell each other every lie they are willing to tell their children every lie they are willing to tell everyone every single lie that they possibly can make up just in order to go along with what's happening. And that is the great deception. Whether you believe it or not, we've been living in the great deception for centuries now. That we have been lied to about everything. And because people choose to live in their unrighteousness, they are willing to believe every lie they are fed. Just in order, just in order to live in their unrighteousness. That is not verbatim of what the Bible says, but it is, it's right on track. It's, I, I, the verbatim, it's like, and God shall send them strong delusion because they choose to live in their unrighteousness or something like that. But that's what it comes down to. That's what I've started saying to people. Or, or what I've been thinking, at least. Uh, I can't really talk to some people anymore I, I hear you know certain either family members or i hear certain other people say things you know and i'm like it's because you choose to live in your unrighteousness that you want this to keep going on sooner or later i'm going to start saying it just straight out and boy just wait until the persecution hits on that but that's that goes along with what I was saying. It's it's gotten to the point now to where I'm being led to say it. We have to stop bowing down to lies. It is time to start telling truth. Because if you cannot stand up for the truth, you're not going to be able to stand up for anything. It's it's time. I've heard it. I don't know how many times I've heard it. Uh, it shifted 
a, a lot of the a lot of the uh, the people that I've been listening to over the past couple weeks, it shifted from, you know, when are you going to get off your get off your ass and start fighting for what you believe in? It shifted from that to when are you going to start getting off your ass and start standing up for the truth? And I think that's that's the shift that's happening. That we have to stop lying to ourselves. The hardest caveat of that being... If you speak too much truth, you may be pulled from places where your voice will have zero effect. Then, of course, what I mean by that is you could get banned from places where you could talk to people. For example, YouTube. YouTube. All all it would take for me is to say five words. Probably not even five words. Three words. Well, four words. And they could very easily pull this channel. Now, I've already said, if YouTube goes down, I'm on BitChute. That's just the way it is. But for some reason, people just can't get give up YouTube. I don't know why. I've I've heard it from different people and I've seen it is that even though people hate and and complain about it and and don't like staying on YouTube, they'll they stay on YouTube. They won't leave. People just won't get away from YouTube. Bitshoot sucks, but it's way better than YouTube. Believe me. I spend I spend the vast majority of my day on BitChute now. It, it actually is is pretty good, even though they're starting to get a little censorshipy. Uh, they're way better than YouTube ever was. There's a couple other ones that I've tried that are, you know, but back to the main back to the main part of this is that. There's that line that we have to kind of push around. We can tell the truth, but we have to kind of push around the truth. So, stop fearing talking about the truth. But at the same time, understand that you can say the truth in a way that's not going to get you completely banned out of the world. Just yet. Just yet. Because there are still more people to save. We're not completely out of this yet. We still need to have our voices. But there's going to come a day when they're going to take everybody off. That you're not going to find any truth whatsoever. It's been slowly happening. A lot of people have been banned or taken off the air. Or, as uh, somebody pointed out, a couple different places on Twitter, a couple different people have said it. People have just been straight up killed because they they had the truth. So it's a uh, it's a fine line. It's something you need to pray about. Something you need to pray about. Something that that you need to be compelled to do. If it's if it's time for you to absolutely get banned off of everything, and then once once that happens, I don't I don't know what comes after that. I mean, we may have to start preaching in the streets again. I don't know. So 
until that time, um, it is right at 7 o'clock. I gotta go to work. <laughs> I've been sitting here talking. I haven't even been looking at the time. Um, always try to find truth. Always try to find truth. Don't ever be afraid to speak up the truth. Don't don't be afraid to to speak what's in your heart to know that to know that there's something wrong. And there's got to be ways. There's got to be ways that that you can talk to somebody. Talk to people, talk to mass people. I don't I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say there. But be able to talk to people without gotta be ways to massage a system for now. I mean we we are not in full persecution mode yet. I'm sure like I said that's coming. But for now we we have to be able to save whoever we can. I'm sure there's people that can do it way better than I can. But you know, I'm not perfect. I'm a nobody. I'm just a guy with a I'm just a guy with a laptop and, you know, a headset. And I just this is what I was compelled to do. I, I went from doing video games to this within a matter of a year and a half because because that's what I was led to do. So, well, I got to go. I got to go to work. Uh I love y'all. God bless everybody. Um seek out the truth. No matter how no matter how wicked this world is, always try to seek out the truth. Always try to preach truth. Stop lying to your kids. <laughs> a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people really don't like that. I'm not lying to my kids. I'm just trying to teach them. You know, I'm just trying to tell them that they can have fun doing this. No, you're straight lying to your kids. Stop it. Stop it. All right, I will talk to you guys later.